Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you a simple technique to change the color of an object. We'll be changing this dress color just like that. Real easy project. And I'm working here inside of Photoshop Elements 2025, but this technique works in most versions of Photoshop Elements. Now I'll be using a few tools in here. I won't be going into detail on those tools. I just want to show you the basic technique. If you want more training on the specific tools, the best place to go for that is my complete training course. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Okay, let's just clean this file up here. I'll get rid of those two layers. And we're now back to just the original picture. So the first thing I always like to do is to make a duplicate of the background. So over here, right side, right click versus background, duplicate layer, choose OK. And that's just our safety. In case things get messed up, we can always go back to our saved original photo right there inside the project. Okay, now we need to make a selection around this dress. So start off here with select and come down to subject. And this should give us a good basic selection. Now in Photoshop Elements 2025, when you make a selection using the select and subject, you automatically get this mask method in here. If you want to see the marching ants, just come down here and change this from mask to selection. And there we go. Or change to any different tool. That's also fine. I'll go over here to the polygonal lasso tool. Now we have a good selection for the dress, but we want to get rid of the legs in here and the arms. We don't need those in the selections. We need to remove those from the selection. So come down here to the options panel and click on subtract right here, subtract from selection. Let's do the feet first. I'll just zoom in here. And I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse for that zoom. If you have a wheel on your mouse, that's an option. Go up here to edit, come down to preferences and general. And it's right here, zoom with scroll wheel. I'm a bit closer like that. And then with this, I'm just going to make a new selection up around the part of the leg that's overlapping the dress up in here. Now be careful with this one. When you're using this tool, make sure you give it a beat or two between clicks. And the way this works is you click, set a new point and click. And then Photoshop Elements connects those points with lines. Once you have the part around the dress like that, you can come outside here for the rest of this. Hold the space bar down to move the image. Just like that. And when you get close to the beginning, just double click and that completes the selection and removes that bit. Okay, same thing over here on this side. I'll start right over here in the corner. And again, just come in nice and tight and come up around across the top up here. There we go. And then same thing down this side and then out and around for the rest of the part that you want to remove from your selection. Go close, double click. And that's taken care of. Okay, so now let's hold the space bar down. Let's go over here and find the hand right here. And again, same idea. I'll just come in here and we're taking out the part that we don't want in our selection. This is the nice thing about using that subject select. You can get a lot of the work done very quickly and then come back in and clean this up. Now, if you have an older version of Photoshop Elements that doesn't have subject select, then simply use the polygonal lasso tool and make a careful selection around the dress and the parts that you want to have in there. And it will do the exact same thing. But subject select is a great time saver. Even if it doesn't give you a perfect selection like it didn't here, it takes some cleanup. It's still much easier than going through and doing the whole dress a bit at a time with any of your selection tools. Okay, so a little bit right up in here. I want to make sure I keep that bit right there. And around the thumb. And then we're just about done with this part of the project. Now, on all these projects, the most difficult part is going to be the selection. So this is where you should be taking your time. Everything else goes very fast. Okay, back up around here. Near the beginning, double click. And there we go. I'll use a control zero to fit that on screen again. So the dress is now selected. Let's now go up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. And the one you want is hue saturation. And where it says use previous layer, check that, choose okay. And then notice when you do that, it takes that selection and converts that into a layer mask on the hue saturation filter right here. So you have our layer mask right there. And then all you have to do is just change this hue slider here to any color that you want. Now, some colors won't look good. Like right there, that's kind of weird. So just find a nice color that you think works out well. 
And something in there, I think that's pretty good. I like that. You also can change your saturation for brighter or duller in here. So you have quite a wide range of colors you can choose from using these basic slider controls. If you're not happy with that set of colors, you can do one more thing in here. Now this, as you can see here, it kept two different colors inside the dress. We have the background color and then the print pattern color. And those are both being changed together. You can see it right there. They both shifted together, so they still look very nice. You can go for a monochromatic color look, which also works. Let's take a look at that. So I'll hide that one layer. Let's go over here and layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, same thing. Choose OK. Now I want to copy this layer mask down, so hold the Alt key down, grab the layer mask, and just drag it down. And it just copies it. And this time, let's go here and click on Colorize. And that removes all that and gives you basically a monochromatic color. And sometimes this is a more interesting way to go. And then again, we can just adjust our hue in here with our slider. This way, we have better color control this way. But we don't have two different colors in the dress pattern. If you don't care about that, then this is a real easy way to get a real nice, smooth color gradation. Let's go for more of a red in here like that. We can increase our saturation if you want. You can go real bright red. It's up to you. So using that colorize can give you a little different effect on the quality of your colors. So here's our first one. And again, this has two colors in it or a more monochromatic look by using that colorize option. And don't forget to save your file when you're finished. I like saving twice. I'll first save this out as a Photoshop Elements file, which saves all my layers which means I can go back and work on it more in the future if I want to. I've already done that, so that's just a file save here. And if you have layers, it's going to automatically save it as a Photoshop Elements file. If you need this for use on the web or someplace else, then you may want to use a different file format. And that's just the file save as right down here. And then choose your file format you want to save to, bitmap. Here's a GIF, here's a JPEG. I like PNG right now, it's a real good File Format, choose Save, and OK. And that's now saved as a PNG file. Now one thing about that, notice that we have our layers over here still. That's because we're still looking at the Photoshop Elements file, the PSD file right here. This one's still open, but it saved a copy to the PNG file format into the same folder that the original is in. And again, if you want to learn more about these different tools in here, more about the adjustment layers, more about making selections, all of that stuff, I have all that in my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And again, take a look at the top of the description for a link for that course. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of these videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up and give the video a like. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you next time.